times on the bike where you want to get up onto or over an obstacle without actually having to slow down. And that's where our bunny hop technique comes in. Now the bunny hop is using weight shift to actually get the wheels off the floor. Chances are you're gonna be going fairly fast for this. So I'm in a nice high downhill type of gear. And I've actually got my seat down because whenever I ride downhill, it's more fun to drop that seat and go as fast as you can. So the bunny hop comes in two parts. The first part is where we're gonna use weight shift to get that front wheel up in the air. And once that front wheel is up there, we're gonna do what we did with the rear wheel lift. So we're gonna point the toes to the floor and physically lift the back end of the bike using our feet, whilst also throwing that weight forward slightly. It's really important when you're coaching the bunny hop that you make sure people don't do a speed hop instead. So a speed hop is where both wheels simultaneously leave the ground and come back down. A bunny hop is two very distinct movements. So the front of the bike is gonna lift up, followed by the back of the bike, and then the two come down, aligning with the ground as they come into land. As this is a high speed skill, it's really important that people are looking way ahead down the trail to anticipate what might come up after they land their bunny hop. It's also vitally important that you've got one finger hanging on both brakes so that you can use them whenever you need to. To get the front wheel up, it's a big weight shift upwards and backwards. So you're gonna compress the forks and spring on up out of it, straight arms and up high on the bike. The back wheel is much like your rear wheel lift. So you're gonna point those toes to the floor, push back hard into the rear pedal, and then actually lift the back of the bike up. And that's what gets that back wheel up following the front wheel into the air. As this is a high speed skill, you're already gonna be in the attack position, ready to go. So the arms and knees are gonna be slightly bent, ready to spring up and out when you need to.